What's up, y'all? This your girl, Go Mouth. I am coming to you guys today to show you how I depop my virgin hair fertilizer. I have showed y'all this before, but I know I have a lot of new subscribers that have probably have not seen that video because these videos be getting lost all up all up in the sauce in the in the video land. So um, I am going to show you guys how I depop my virgin hair fertilizer. I see it's a lot of y'all out there that um have purchased the virgin hair fertilizer and let me say this y'all i just gotta say it this is not a sponsored video virgin hair fertilizer did not send me ish okay they did not send me nothing i bought this with my own money because i use it and tried it for myself and i personally like it everything is for everything that somebody else like don't mean you gonna like it okay everything for my hair might not be good for your hair okay you feel me okay i just had to say that now because i don't want y'all coming for me saying i didn't like that it didn't do nothing for me I that's just how it's going to be. That's just how it is with hair products. Because we all have different hair types, hair scalps, and all type of stuff. Okay. Now, as y'all can see right here, let's get on into the video. I have some steaming hot water. I put this water. This is one of those, um, girl, this is one of those Chinese cups. Where my husband be getting takeout and stuff. Or I be getting takeout Chinese. And this is like the where you get that sweet tea and the, um... I think they be having pink lemonade, but that's one of these. That's what this is. It's the it's the thing that I found in the house that was small enough, to, wide enough, or whatever. You could use a cup. I didn't want to use no cup at my at my cabinet, cause I mean, I wouldn't want to drink after I put it in here. If you got a cup, you're gonna throw away, or you can just reuse the same cup. Then uh use that but once you put this in there don't use nothing you're gonna drink out of again okay so i mean i'm just saying because it's it might be leaking and all of that stuff because sometimes it do leak out and as y'all can see i do have my four pack of virgin hair fertilizer here that i have not opened yet because i need that in the future but for my old four pack i found that i had one left and i'm like hey turn up a lot of people been asking me like what color top red top the red top one and it says virgin it says virgin on the 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 tube i've heard they got a virgo and they got one with the yellow top and all of that listen i don't know nothing about all that i can't tell you nothing about them because i ain't never had them i only had this one after a whole bunch of watching a whole bunch of videos years ago they said this one was the right one this one is the right one for me um, some people said the Virgo was the right one, honey. Listen, you make your own decision, but this is the one that gold mouth use. Okay, okay, all right, all right. And a lot of people was asking me about the ingredients, y'all. Okay, the ingredient list says herbal extract, petroleum jelly, peppermint oil, lanolin, and fragrance. That's it. It only got one, two, three, four, five ingredients. That's what it say right here. I don't know if y'all can see that, but... It's, that's all the ingredients it says on there. It don't like it got nothing else in there that I could see. And this is from, um, I think it's from Jamaica. Is it Jamaican child? Look, I don't know. Jamaican, I believe. So, um, what I do with this tube is, uh, I take the virgin hair fertilizer tube and I take it and put it in this hot boiling water. That's what this water for. Now, don't take this here tube and put it in the microwave. You're going to be a big dummy if you do because this is made of metal. The same reason why you can't put spoons and forks in the microwave. Same thing. Don't put this. Well, this is made of aluminum, not metal. Hell, I don't know. Aluminum, whatever. You can't put none of that in the microwave. So, don't put this in the microwave at all. You get your hot water. You put that in the microwave and then you get your water hot and then you get this and you sit it in there now once you sit this in there you let it sit <clears throat> for about five minutes i don't know you just got to keep checking it periodically and you know to see um hold on let me shake it for y'all one time let me shake it for you one time so y'all can hear get a shake test do you hear anything no, you don't hear nothing because it's still in its solid form. So when it starts to melt and uh, get loose all up in the tube, you're going to hear it shake. And 
you you'll know that it's turned into a liquid. So I put it in here. I should have put a little bit more water in here, but child, I wasn't about to burn myself. So I let it I let it sit in here on this side for a little while. When it starts to loosen up, I do flip it upside down. You don't have to worry about it coming out of the top because there should be a seal on it like this. It is sealed. Now, when you get your virgin hair fertilized, it should be a silver seal on it, just like you know, a tube of toothpaste, and then in the top right here, it got that little spike thing where you can uh, poke it and open it up. So I'm going to sit it back in here. So you ain't got to worry about it leaking from the top. Now, sometimes it do leak from the bottom. That just how I do, because I guess it just folded up at the bottom like a tube of toothpaste. And I'm just going to let that sit in there and marinate, you know, for a couple of minutes, maybe 10 then after them 10 minutes up, I make sure it's shook up. I make sure it make sure it's melted good because one time it need to come out pretty much like water because one time I did it and mine came out a little bit like like creamy, but it was coming out. But when it comes out creamy, um you don't get all of you don't get it all out of the pack. It don't all come out of here, child. So you want to get it all out. So you want to melt it as melty as you can. And melt it or whatever. Whatever you want to call it. You want to melt it as melty as you can, child. And when it get to the melting, to the point where it melt all the way. It ain't going to be a complete, completely liquid. But it ain't going to be no, like, like ice cream. Yeah, like, uh, what, what's that consistency? Like a pudding yogurt type consistency. It's not going to be like that. It's going to be more liquid, uh, pretty much like your Jamaican black castor oil or something like that. And then you pour it in your container. So I'm going to come back to y'all once I let this sit. Because we ain't going to just sit here. Because I ain't got really nothing to talk about y'all. What we got to talk about? Yes, okay. Well, tune in. Y'all stay with me for tomorrow. I want you guys to tune in to... um my channel because tomorrow I will be greasing my scalp with this virgin half fertilizer because it's going to be fertilizer Friday. Today is Thursday. I'm going to upload this video today and this is just showing you how to depot it. So once you see this video and uh, and you get your virgin half fertilizer, see what I'm talking about y'all? It's, uh, it's already seeping out. It's seeping out of the bottom. I can't show y'all but if you look closely right here, is that so? Yeah, you can smell it. It's going to make your whole cup smell like peppermint. So, it seeps out of a little bit. Not enough that you're going to be like, oh, no, I ain't about to do that. No, it's, it barely even, you ain't going to even notice it seeping out, but you're going to smell it. You're going to smell that strong peppermint smell like your grandmama and them at church got them peppermint balls in her pocketbook. Yeah, that's what you're going to smell. You're going to smell that strong peppermint, kind of like a... Uh, Altoid or something like that, but that's what makes it tingle so much because it has a strong peppermint. It must be got a whole lot of peppermint in it, but child, either way it goes, child. I like it and I like the way it feels. Now, I try to mess with my tube a little bit and try not to just let it sit there. Sometimes I'll turn it, even though it's all the way in there, it's fully submerged. Now, it's still it's still a uh, in its liquid in its solid state so I'm gonna turn it around upside down this water is hot if I stick my hands and I'm gonna burn myself so I'm gonna turn it around and let it get on this side too and let just let the whole thing heat up okay so I mean if you got a container that's big enough to hold the whole virgin hair fertilizer then go ahead and do you big pick your own container honey but this one I got uh and it might it work good for me. I mean, you could probably pick one of those flat bowls, but if you pick a container, make sure it's a container you ain't gonna use to eat out of no more ever in life, okay? So if you got some Tupperware, some old Tupperware that you're gonna throw away, use that. And make sure when you do use that, put it to the side, don't throw it away, and let that be the same one you use every time because this is the same one I use every single time. Well, I don't know if it's been the same one since back in the day because my husband and I done went. He always get one of these to drink. I don't I don't, I don't like these, but when he get them, I keep the container so it can, I can have it for my virgin half fertilizer. So as you can see, let me lift it up. I was going to go, y'all. I'm still here. Listen. Y'all hear that now? Turning into a liquid. So I'm going to keep it in there and let it sit and melt and all of that good stuff and um, what you want to do is you want to make sure you got you a <clears throat> it's, it's your preference it's your choice though you can put it in a bigger container if you want to um like just say for instance it, I, I say for best if unless you want to put it in your tupperware bowl or whatever then that's your choice but for me um i had some old um 
you know, hair product things that I had to use all the stuff out of. I mean, I got different old type things like this. If y'all don't use it all, uh, I just, um, clean it out and put my virgin hair fertilizer in it but I prefer to use one that's exactly four ounces and I just so happen to have one that's exactly four ounces on here now I don't know if y'all can see this but right here it says four ounces this is real small y'all can't see it but it says four ounces now on this here virgin hair fertilizer it don't tell you how many ounces it is it do tell you it's 125 grams so I guess 125 grams equal four ounces I don't know google it let me see what the google say Google be knowing everything, child. Google know all your business. Google know about your mama and them and your grandma and them business. Okay, hold on. Okay. How many ounces is 125 grams? 125 grams equal 4.409 ounces. Okay, so it's 4.4 ounces. So if you got a container that's 4.4 ounces or less, well, not less. I just say 4 ounces. So Google said it was 4.4. 4.409 ounces. That's what, shit, y'all can't, child, whatever, y'all heard it. <laughs> so, um, that's what the Google says. So, uh, four ounces is enough. Somebody asked me that too. How many ounces is it? Will it hold it? Yes, it'll hold it. A four ounce container will hold it. Now, something bigger will most definitely hold it. But the reason why I got the container that I got is because it's wide for one. I, I got big hands so I can put my fingers down in it. Squeezing it out of this here tube is H-E double hockey sticks. You ain't gonna be able to squeeze it and get a significant amount. I know what you're doing and all of that. Y'all can see it shaking and my arms flapping. I want to make sure it's in there I'm, before I take it out because I have thought it was done before and I took it out and it still was kind of creamy and when it's kind of creamy you can get so much out the container but at the end of the container when it start coming out it start going slow that lets you know uh, it didn't melt fully as fully as you should have let it melt because when it's when it turns into liquid liquid it's gonna melt completely and you're gonna be able to just pour it out like water really you're gonna be able to pour it out like water if you're not able to pour it out and it just runs like water you didn't get it uh you didn't let it sit long enough in your hot water for real for real you didn't let it sit long enough so let it sit long enough and let me see what else about it oh, let me see if i can read it oh, i can read it what i'm talking about chad it says it's an anti-dandruff and hair conditioning cream for rapid and healthy hair growth so um uh, right here and it says the directions apply and massage massage y'all don't forget that now apply and massage virgin hair fertilizer into your hair and scalp every day comb and style as desired for a healthy strong and natural looking hair okay keep out of reach of children and store in a cool dry place okay y'all heard it from the, the the horse's mouth here i don't do it every day you can do it every day if you want to I try to do it at least three times a week. I only come to you guys twice a week because why would I, why, do y'all want to see me three times a week just greasing my scalp? No, I can save that other day for another video, okay, something else. So, okay, y'all, so that's what the directions say. So, maybe it's about ready right now. Mm, I'm going to turn it back upside down again. I, I want to make sure because, like I said, I have done it before and thought it was ready and it wasn't. So, the longer it, it's sitting there, the better. It probably take all between six, seven minutes, for real. It take about six, seven minutes to get, like, fully. It's been a while since I've mailed it once, so I want to make sure that I get it right this time. Since I'm on candy camera, y'all, you ain't going to mess me up on video. So, this is my old virgin hair fertilizer that I've already completely used this one up. This ain't the one I've been using recently. This is the one. I don't know where my other one at, y'all. I don't know where my other one at, but, oh, my other one right here. Let me get that one, y'all. My other one, what I've been using in these last couple of greasy videos, I still got some left. But I want to come on here because y'all been greasing y'all scalp with me and things. I want to come on here and show you guys how this here virgin hair fertilizer works. So what I did with this container, y'all, see, I cut the flap off of this. I just cut this flap off and I got me some tape and I taped it on. So that way, when I'm looking through my things and you know how you, girl, I'm a product junkie now. I got all kind of hair products and... I want to know that this virgin hair for blouse. I won't be fooled and I won't throw my thing away. And my husband don't throw my other one, so he he uh got it in his room. Uh and that one still got something in it too. So okay, it feels liquidy enough now, y'all. Hit 
Now, what you want to do is you want to make sure you shake it up because any, like, still grease that didn't melt all the way that's in the corners and cracks and crevices of this, of this thing, you want to make sure you get them melted and, and make sure they're moving around and now. So, I'm just going to open this top like this. Y'all, we at the lab right now, y'all. We use at the lizard. I got a towel down here just in case y'all wondering. I have a towel down here. Um, ooh, you hear it? Pop oh, sizzle. I hope I got it. I'm gonna screw it. Screw it. I'm gonna make sure this hole open. Now here it is. Okay, see how it's coming out? It kind of looked like um an oil. You just gotta squeeze it. See that, y'all? I didn't get it. You see that? Okay, there you go. That was just a lump. Okay, that was a lump that wasn't milled all the way. It came out, though. I thought I didn't mill it all the way. I might not have. Some ASMR for y'all. I like the sound of virgin air fertilizer. <laughs> Going into the container. Milted hot steamy. Okay, y'all. Milted hot steamy virgin air fertilizer. And, and that is it. That's all in there, and you can clearly hear. Now, nah. now you ain't gonna get every drippity drip drip drop because the last little drippity drip drip drop, you know, get everything. I try to get every drop now. This little bit right here, I will put in my hair or whatever, and y'all can see how full my container got. It's like that much away from the top so this is this container is a four ounce container so if you got a four ounce container now i like this because see if you look my hand can go all the way in it if i need to because sometimes if i got parts and i'm being fast and being a hurry and not on camera i will stick all four of my fingers out there and get grease on every finger and just go like that now <laughs> yeah but i try to do it the right way y'all because i be wanting to talk to y'all and get it now this thing is empty okay it's empty to the tea, okay? I should cut it in half and let y'all see, but I ain't got no sizzles. I'm gonna cut it in half and let y'all see what it look like on the inside. If I can cut it in half, child. I don't got my sizzles. I thought I had some sizzles, child. Hold on, let me see if I got some sizzles. Yeah, I got some sizzles right here. Oh, Jesus, be a fence. Okay, so I'm gonna cut the virgin half fertilizer thing open. I'm only doing this for y'all, so we're going to see how much we did get out of the tube, okay? Ugh. Now, I remember the last time I did this, I actually went into the tube and used what was left because it was a little, I found a little tiny bit in there. But it do connect to the side walls, as you can see right here. That's what that looked like in that side of the tube. And this is the bottom. Now, it might be more in the bottom. I don't know. Now, if you real, if you real, like, want to get every single drop out, you can cut it open. Don't cut your fingers. Is it sharp? It really not that sharp for real. Cause it's it's like a, a strong aluminum foil. And it's actually some in there, but you pretty much got most of it out. That's what it looks like out. And you can go in here and get you got it's still a lot of product in there, y'all though. Look. It's still a lot that I can actually use in my hair, Chad. I'm gonna put this look. I might use this for tomorrow when I grease my scalp. Because I ain't throwing all this away. I'm just that cheap, right? I ain't really ain't that cheap, but I just want to get all my product. That's all. That's all. I just want to get all of my product. Usually, I don't. I just cut this open for y'all. Usually, I just dump them in there and I throw them in the trash. But I, since I cut that open and I actually see it now, that make me want to um, go ahead and use it. You feel me? I don't want to throw it away. It's like, man, that's product in there. That's a, that's probably enough to do a whole side of my head in this two here tube here, child. But anyways, you guys, y'all see this virgin have fertilizer in here if you leave it in, it's it's a liquid right now but trust me it's gonna get back hard like grease again like like you're gonna have like a jar of vaseline it's gonna be in its hard state and you'll be ready to go now if you want to add something to this at and you know like some people say they was adding virgin hair uh, what it is they was adding jamaican black castor oil and all of that other good stuff you might want to put it in at its melted state i don't know if that's gonna mess it up when it start to get solid oh no because because jamaican black castor oil ain't no solid listen i don't know nothing about that i just use mine just like this if you want to put something else in it it probably be best you put it in while it's still melted and and moving around and stuff so when it get hard it'll all be up in there together i don't know i'm not no laboratory lady but honey i'm gonna put this top on it and i'm gonna let it sit and 
when I let it sit, I um let it sit in this cool place or just let it sit over there. And all this stuff that I got on my hands, girl, that goes in the scalp, okay? It goes in the scalp. And tomorrow, y'all, I will be back with y'all with greasing my scalp. We're going to grease our scalps and we're going to talk about whatever topics y'all want to discuss. If y'all got any topics, any questions y'all want to discuss, leave them down in the comment section below. I really appreciate all of you guys' comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. And that's all I got to say in this video. <laughs> Why wow, I'm looking so serious, man. I feel like I was looking serious. Okay. Okay. Thank y'all so much for watching. And that's all. Oh, I will... I will leave the link to where I got my virgin hair fertilizer from because every video y'all be like, well, where you get it from? Where the link? I don't be leaving the link, child. I be slacking, girl. I just, listen, how I'm going to come on here and talk about something and I ain't going to tell y'all where to get it from, okay? Anyways, y'all, thank y'all so much for watching and listen to me talk my head off, y'all. And that's all I got to say in this video and I will holler at y'all later. Bye!